Okay, so I get a lot of questions on this. How do you protect the lingual area when you're taking out third molars? Like, how far can you pull that lingual tissue back? Well, as we know, that lingual nerve rides along the crest of the ridge in 18.6% of patients. And unlike the inferior alveolar nerve, that lingual nerve is just sitting within that soft tissue and can be easily severed with poor surgical planning. This is why we make our flap designs towards the buckle and don't make incisions straight up the ridge on the distal of the second molar. All of our incisions are directed towards the buckle to not only provide us with great access and visibility, but also to protect that lingual anatomy. We do not want to actually go severing that lingual nerve because that can be totally avoidable. So I urge you all, when taking on impacted third molars, protect your anatomy. Yes, you can gently pull that tissue overlying that third molar towards the lingual within reason, of course. However, I don't want you to reef on that tissue because remember that lingual nerve could be right there. Next, whenever you're using your handpiece, protect the lingual soft tissue anatomy with your periosteal elevator. Ask your amazing dental assistant to hold the flap back so we don't have an inadvertent burr injury to that lingual nerve, which can happen if you're not careful. As you can see here, I always hold the lingual of my flap with my periosteal elevator and have my assistant hold it in position. Not only will this provide you with great access and visibility to the tooth you want to remove, but it also protects the lingual nerve. I hope seeing this video helps you out in tackling those third molars and taking care of that lingual nerve. Until next time, see you next week.